All right, guys, this is my 2014 Honda CRV, and uh, we're looking at the left rear side of my vehicle, the uh, brake area. I had just the other day, a few days ago, I had uh, what manifested itself at that time. It probably was dragging for a while until it really got bad. And um, so I had to change the caliper that you see here. And I put brand new rotors. I actually did both sides, both of the rears. And uh, I've got about 118,000 or so miles. So here, in another few weeks, I'll go ahead and do the front just because they're the same age uh, since the back here went. But what I want to show you is this cool little tool that I used that was $10 that I really didn't think much of. The neighbor said he'd help, you know, the old-fashioned way, pushing down and holding and then... You know, you push down the brake, hold it, and then you open up the uh, bleeder and the pedal sinks and you close it. And I thought, well, let me try this this little tool for $10. And I thought it worked great. I was kind of in a hurry when I did this, so I really can't show an example, but I thought I'd show you the tool. And uh, I was very happy with it. Bled both sides, and it worked great. So if you're somebody that... Uh, you know, you want to do it, you want to do the job yourself. Uh, this thing worked great. So this is it, guys. OEM Tools, one-man brake bleeder kit, number 25036. It says it's got a limited lifetime warranty, whatever that means, but it really doesn't matter. I mean, it's so cheap that it pays for itself just on one job. And this simple diagram on the back of the uh, carton shows you basically how the thing works. And I'll put this up here. You can pause the video to read this. Now these are the components that come with it. You get the jar, you get a length of hose that will connect to your bleeder bolt, your bleeder screw. You get this little magnet that attaches to the metal part of your car. Or you could rig something up if you wanted or have somebody hold it, but the idea is being able to do this by yourself. You put that on there like that, you, you have to be above the bleeder screw. So this just simply goes on any metal piece of the vehicle. You've got these two things that they're saying you can use to put inside the bleeder screw. Well, I didn't find that, uh, I couldn't do that on mine. The, the bleeder screw was too small, so I just fit this right over the end of the bleeder. And then you, they give you this for the master cylinder. I didn't uh, do too much studying on it because I didn't need to do the master cylinder. So I just wanted to do this quick video to show you guys. I was very impressed with this. It is a simple item that just simply works. And it works great for $10. Unbelievable. So I just thought I'd pass that along.